So this morning, I want to talk to you on the subject of derailed. Have you ever been derailed? Derailing is the enemy's plan to make you quit. Did you know that the enemy, Satan, wants you to quit? First Peter chapter 5, it says, Be sober spirits, be on alert. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. But resist him. You say, but I don't know how to resist the devil. How do I resist him? I don't understand. All of us constantly hear voices, right? Hey, every time we're about to step in to one step closer to the destiny that God has for us, we will hear, you can't do it. So how do you resist the enemy? You learn to pray the name of Jesus over your life. You learn to say, Satan, you have to get out of here in Jesus' name. You don't have a place. I can get back on course. And when you're off course, he's going to come after you and he's going to say, you'll never make it. You'll never get up. You can't do it. God isn't going to use you anyways. Who do you think you are? You're not going to reach anyone. And in that moment, you look at him and you say, shut up, devil. Get out of here in Jesus' name. My marriage will be restored. My life will be put on back on track. I will not die. I will live. And see, some of you got to get that mind, mind, mind towards the enemy in your life. He's come after your marriage. He's come after your money. He's come after your destiny. He's come after your calling. You got to take back your marriage. You got to take back your finances. You got to take back your calling. You got to take it back because if you don't, he'll keep it. And he'll keep you from being who God created you to be, which is someone who knows him and makes him known.